Hello everybody, it is me, Zumad, and I am back with another episode of Astroneer. So, since the previous episode, um, yeah, um, I was carrying all- I needed just a little bit more, um, aluminum at the end of the episode, and I managed to go out on an expedition, I got the aluminum I needed, and then I died, and I had all of the materials I had prepared last episode in my backpack, so I had to recraft everything, which really sucked, but it only took like 45 minutes, so I was able to get everything back quickly. So just a quick overview of everything I packed, I have the solid fuel thruster for the return trip, um, a canister so I can collect soil and manipulate the terrain. And whenever we get there, we are going to deploy the small printer, and then this medium printer on top of this medium platform. And then I brought some extenders just in case we need them. Um, then we are going to use the medium printer to make another platform. Um, well, we are going to use it to create a um, soil centrifuge using the aluminum and the two compound I have here. Then I also have a beacon here so I can mark the location of my base so that if I ever go back to that planet again, I will be able to tell where it is from space. And then over here I have these three small wind turbines, so just for extra power and a small solar panel um, that I just had to kind of steal. Well, I only stole the small solar panel. These wind turbines, I actually, um, I looked at my research catalog and realized that they're really ridiculously, like, dirt cheap to make, so I just decided to make as many as I could fit in my backpack. So, that is everything that we will need to go on our trip, and I made a seat here that does work, so we're going to pop in here. <sighs> I'm really, really nervous because... There could be serious consequences if I screw this up, so let's launch it. And we are clear for liftoff. Whoa, this is trippy. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa. Oh, wow, that's so cool. And there's our planet. Wow, that's so cool. You know, it's been so long, it's been like months since I actually like played Astroneer long enough to get this far in the game, so this is making me kind of dizzy. <laughs> this shows how little I record, so we need, um, I think I hit Z to... Okay, yeah, we do that to view the other planets. Whoa, that's so cool! I love this game. So, let's take a look here. We're going for Tundra, so that's barren. So I guess we just need to wait for Tundra, which is, of course, at the opposite end of the solar system. Like, ten minutes ago, it was, like, right next to our planet, like, right next to my planet filling the horizon, but it's not there anymore now, of course. So I guess we're gonna have to wait for a while for it to get within range. You know, I don't really understand the whole, like, it needs to get in range thing, because, I mean, like... It's not like our flight is limited, because, like, there's no friction in space, really. I mean, there's a tiny bit, but, like, very, very, very little. It's basically, like, almost unnoticeable. And, yeah, I don't understand, like, what would be stopping the spacecraft from traveling to any planet, you know? Because there's essentially no friction in space, so I don't really get it. But I do not know how big the fuel tank on this thing is, so I really don't want to risk um, botching a planet jump, so I'm just going to wait until Tundra comes by. Okay everybody, it is just starting to happen. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting at my computer for like well over 15 minutes for this thing. Yes, the Tundra. Let's go. So now we are flying off to our destination, and whoa! What was that? Something just shot by really fast. Oh, the bottom of this blew out. I see. So now we need to pick somewhere to land. Well, if we look- well, if we take a look here, this direction is where, like, the world is. So I really want to get near the pole, so let's go right- you know, let's go right here by the mountain. Well, no, right there will be good. And now, we have finally made it on Tundra. Now we just need to land. And now, 
We have finally safely made it on Tundra. And now we exit, and man, it is windy here. You know, I'm not sure if that's just the planet, but if it is, like, the planet's just constantly windy, that's actually really good, since I brought, like, three or four, um, what are they called, wind turbines, and I am, like, glitching into the ground. That's actually really weird and annoying. But, yeah, I guess, what is this? Titanite, okay. But, yeah, let's get to work now, making our home, so... First, we need to set our signal beacon. That is definitely one of the most important things. Well, that's not a good spot. Yeah, let's put it on... Let's put it in, on this gray stuff, since I won't be destroying that anytime soon. So, it's a pretty good spot. And let's make it... Let's make it red. There we go. And I feel like there's a storm coming, is there? I'm not sure, but... In the meantime, let's start setting up our base. So, we are going to first, I guess, dig a hole to put our valuables in. So, I'm going to put in this. This thing is insanely important because if we lose this, we're stuck on this planet, well, at least for a while. Because I'm pretty sure System Area... Am, ugh, can't talk. I'm pretty sure System Era has the game set up so that you can get the resources necessary to get off a planet on any planet. But I feel like I'm like glitching through the ground. It's very weird. Oh, that is weird. I don't like that. It's a really buggy. But I feel like this big purple area right here would be a pretty good spot. So we're going to put our medium platform down. Just like this. And now we need to put my medium printer on it. And, oh, it appears the platform doesn't supply oxygen, so that is a bit unfortunate. We're gonna have to run over here. And I'm just, I feel kind of nervous right now because I really need to remember not to mess anything up, I guess. So, oh, yikes, I'm bugging through the ground like crazy over here. I can see kind of a line through the ground. Maybe this will help? This appears to kind of help, but now let's flatten this. Oh, that's really buggy. That's really buggy. Oh, no. I guess hopefully System Era fixes this by the 1.0 update, but now I've kind of ruined this entire area. I was kind of hoping to put it in the purple area, cause, just because it's flat and nice looking, but now I've ruined it, so I guess this area will have to do. It is so windy here, and ooh, research sample. Okay, I'm going to stop wasting time and actually focus on what I need to get done, so I'm going to put this small fabricator, I think that's what it's called, right here. Um, yeah, we're just going to pop a little closer, right here should do, and... Now we just need to grab this cable plug and pop it in there. And now we just need to set up our power sources. So, solar panel is just going to get rotated a bit. I think right there will work. Then we're going to plug it in so that we can get some power. And, oh no, I'm running out of oxygen again. You know, I'm thinking, um, since this is like the only item right now that supplies me with oxygen... I guess I will need to build some tethers running out to here later on. So, I guess I just have to kind of walk out here first, but now we're going to set this up. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Do you guys hear this wind? And now, like, listen to that wind, how strong it is. And then you have, like, these wind turbines barely turning. You see, now they're turning. So, there we go. So now we have a little power network there. And now all we need to do is make our soil centrifuge. So let's take a look here. Soil centrifuge, here we go. And now that is printing away. And oh, my oxygen is running low, but I think I've made a terrible mistake. Because I'm just now thinking, platforms require resin, meaning I need to get resin 
to put this thing. See, this is why I was so nervous. Because whenever I go on planet trips like this, I always feel like I'm going to mess something up, and I just did. So we're going to have to find resin somehow before we can even get the soil centrifuge working. I don't have any on me. Oh, no. Well, let's hope it's a common resource. Okay, so I did definitely screw up because resin is an uncommon resource, but thankfully not like a rare or anything, just uncommon. So... Um, I did look online and it should be able to be found around cave entrances or just like one layer into caves, but these guys are going to be annoying to deal with. So we're just going to grab these. And I guess since luckily we did land right next to a cave, so we can just go down there and search for resin. But, oh no, this is actually not that great at all, so... This is definitely going to hinder our progress in the future. Oh, one other thing I forgot. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I I can't believe I forgot that. That's how I was gonna start off my video. But uh, yeah, um, I am currently recording this. I think like four days before Christmas. So I am hoping to get this thing um, out by Christmas or on Christmas. You know, let's just look up here. Yeah, it does not look like uh, there is any resin up here, so I guess the cave is our best bet for now. Okay, so now we just have a storm in our way, so uh, not that great. And I've also just realized I brought no compound with me either, which means no tethers, because I thought I could... Yeah, I forgot the platform for my mineral extractor, so I thought... I would be able to get compound as soon as I got on the planet and then make tethers, but nope. I have no tethers either. So I'm going to just go around the planet for a while. I'm going to spend a bunch of time searching for resources. And depending on how bad the situation is, because I still have lots of hydrazine and aluminum back on the Terran planet, depending on how bad the situation turns out to be, I might just go on a quick trip back to the Terran planet grab the few resources I need and then bring them back over. All right, everybody, I am back and oh my gosh, don't get me started on all the pain I went through. What you guys have thankfully missed out on is several hours of me struggling. Well, I wouldn't say several hours. It was more like an hour and a half, but you get the idea. Um, so I got, um, three resin, but you guys would be amazed how annoying just missing two resin can be. So I, well, there's a storm coming. You know what? This storm is a great opportunity. It's time for storytelling, okay? So I landed back on the Terran planet after waiting for 20 minutes for it to re, for it to enter like that little ring that I think System Era should remove because it is really annoying, but... So after 20 minutes of waiting, I landed on the planet Well, I entered the orbit, but then I found out that landing um, at my base at the pole, at like the vehicle bay where I constructed this lander, um, was not an option. So I had to land like two mountains away from my base. Well, luckily I looked at like the stars because you see if I look up, they like get like more dense where like where kind of like the spin of the planets are, where the orbits are, and also that's where all the planetary equators are. So I thought, oh, I can use this row of the stars and look at like its slant to see how close I am to the pole, and then I can just walk towards the pole, you know? Which is actually really nice about building a base on the pole. You can use the stars to guide you to the pole in the general direction. Well, I went the wrong way. So after about 20 minutes of setting out tethers, I looked up and realized I was at the planetary equator. So then I turned around, went all the way back up to the pole, and then I finally found my base and realized it was like just at the horizon the entire time. But it is still kind of annoying that I have to go on like a little hike to reach my lander. Well, storytelling storm is gone, but then I went back to my base. Thankfully, I had all the materials to make another solid fuel thruster. Well, two, of course. We don't need to get stuck on the planet after all the suffering. But then I finally came back, and I brought some other resources while I was at it, you know, just because. 
And I'm also going to put my solid fuel thruster. Um, you know what? All right, so I'm going to pop that on the floor right now. Take out the used one, if it will let me. And now I'm just going to attach it to the bottom. Un and then we're going to unpack it. And it is going to stay there, safe and sound, until I leave. Now, it does appear that walking is slightly less buggy than it was before. Before I could barely walk, but now I can kind of run a little bit without encountering too many issues. But now, after about an hour and a half of suffering, like, this is really buggy. That's kind of weird. Hopefully System Error, though, will crack down on these bugs in the 1.0 update. But now, we can finally queue examine large platform A and, uh... We don't have energy, but luckily, I brought compound with me so that I could make a small generator while I was here. So we're going to grab this. Oh, can small generators be placed by themselves? Oh, yes, they can. So I'm going to grab my small generator, and we're going to unplug this and plug it in here. And oh no, I'm suffocating. I forgot. There's no oxygen here. So, oh wait, I brought tethers with me. I'm used to not being prepared for anything and messing up everything. You know, and one thing I forgot to point out earlier is I'm, these are so cool. System Era gave, gives us like these interstellar Christmas decorations. You don't have to be on Earth to celebrate Christmas. So, you know, that does give me an interesting thought just off topic for a second. How will people on Mars, um, like years in the future, how will they celebrate holidays? Will they just, like, celebrate holidays the same as Earth? Will they make their own holidays? Who knows? So, now we're going to make a large platform A for our mineral extractor. Or not mineral extractor, soil centrifuge. So, this will be done relatively quickly. And I believe it is right here. And so, what I'm planning on doing is... Um, I'm just going to try to stay on this planet as little as possible because I'm only here for iron so I can get like the, like the chemistry platform and the um, and the trading platform things like that and then I'm going to craft those on the Terran planet and um, so I'm thinking this cycle will be I'm going to build this and then I'm just simply going to make massive networks of tethers extending all around this planet uh, this tundra planet as far out as I need him to go. And then I'm simply going to go out and find the resources I want. And then, I, uh, which is mostly iron. And then I'm going to collect them and stockpile them back here. And then if I ever need, like, ne basic necessities, like compound to make more platforms and tethers or anything like that, then I can simply just dig up some soil and put it through the centrifuge. And then I essentially have everything I need to stay on this planet as much as I want, really. Oh, and I also grabbed some more power sources. And that small solar is really bugged out, and it's kind of scary. That's weird. I don't like that. This is really broken. Um, I don't know if these bugs were in the game before the latest update. But we're just going to plug that in our little broken um, solar panel there, and then plug in that wind turbine. And I might end up taking these back to the um, to the Terran planet with me, because now I'm realizing how many I grabbed. And wait. Is that... Is, is that what I... Is this a mirage? The solution to all my problems was laying right here the entire time. <sighs> I'm trying not to have a mental breakdown behind the mic right now. Ah, the pain. Ah. Astroneer is being mean to me today. Wow, it's just bullying me. It was right there the entire time. Right there. Oh my gosh. Because I only looked like around here and back there, but I, it probably crossed my vision several times when I was previously recording, and whoops, that's not the right button. Maybe people saw it earlier in the video and probably left like super triggered comments, like, you didn't need to suffer. So I suffered for an hour and a half for nothing. 
Ah, uh, that really hurts. That hurts. I don't even know how to react to that. But, in the meantime, I guess I'm going to start, like, the cycle of going out with my tethers, collecting soil, making more tethers, collecting iron, stuff like that off camera, but I'm afraid this is where I'm going to have to end the episode. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. I'll try not to suffer for two hours next time I make an episode. It was so painful. Merry Christmas, everybody. This episode was exhausting to make, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.